when it hurts, it, the pain goes to my ear. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> blended family and welcome back to another video i'm Chantel, and guys in this video i'm actually going to check on amaya because i hear she's not feeling too well but before we get into it make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so when we drop a new video you're alerted all right guys let's get into it so Amaya has been complaining about a sore throat since last Friday. It started off really mild, but it sort of got a little bit worse and got better. So I haven't taken her to a doctor yet. I don't think she needs to go unless she's like getting a fever or she's really having trouble swallowing and she's not at that point. But last night she called me at 11 to say her throat's hurting her still and it's getting worse. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna pay you a visit today, go over and see how she's feeling. So I'm gonna do that right now. She should be on uh, virtual learning. These kids are having a quick break, like their recess time. So they'll be going back on for virtual learning in about five minutes as well. So Greg's gonna stay with these guys and I'm gonna head out. So let's go check on Amaya family. Oh my God, guys. I don't know if you can see my breath. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but it is freezing out here today. Negative 19 out of all days. I'm leaving my house. Oh my God, guys, it's freezing. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys know I don't like cold. Guys, I want to move to Texas. I want to be in Texas. I don't know. I've never been, but I feel like my calling is telling me to go to Texas. Greg and I both have an interest in going to Texas. We've never been there before, but we're always on Zillow looking at houses. And I find some of the nicest houses are in Texas, specifically San Antonio, outside of Fort Worth. Oh, can anyone in Texas tell me how Sherman is? Sherman, S-H-E-R-M-A-N. Is that a good place? Like, is it diverse there, guys? We found like there's like a lot of decent homes for a cheaper price out that way. We also like the idea of Florida, but I'm not sure of like, you know, their natural disasters and things like that because they're, you know, near like the ocean. All right, we're gonna go see what's going on with Amaya and make sure Miss Amaya is okay. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, so I'm at my mom's house. Amaya should be finishing up school now. She has about 15 minutes left in the day, so let's go see how she's doing. Hello! <laughs> Hi, honey. How are you? Good. How's your throat? It's feeling better. It's feeling better? Yeah, because I've been taking the holes that Mimi got. Oh, so it doesn't hurt to swallow anymore? It feels weird to swallow, but it doesn't hurt as much. But it doesn't hurt as much? Oh, that's good. You're still doing your school? Oh, wrapped up in a blanket? Why is this house so cold? <laughs> Mine is 22 outside. I know, it's freezing. Okay. All right, Mai? So you say your throat's feeling good. I thought it was feeling really bad, so I came. It was feeling really bad yesterday. Oh my gosh. And it seems like it's hard for you to talk? Like, <clears throat> like there's lots of fun in my throat, so I have to push in sometimes. Like, my voice will go for like two seconds and then come right back. Okay. But is there any pain? Um, sometimes when I swallow and a lot when I yawn and laugh. But is it getting better? Yeah. Okay, so, so you- Like, when I hurt, it, the pain goes to my ear. Oh, that's not good. But is it getting better or? Yeah, but it's not hurting as much as yesterday. Okay, so you told me last Friday they started. So usually the magic number is seven. 
So if it's if it's progressively getting worse, where it's like, oh my gosh, I can't swallow, I can't because my ear hurts, then that's an emergency. Like that's we have to take it to the doctors. If it's getting better, and you're like, no, I can manage. Like I'm I'm not crying in pain. I take my hauls and it's better. Then you're okay. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep drinking. Mimi was giving you um, tea. It was honey and lemon. Did you take drink it? The first time. The first time you did? Yeah, last time, I don't know. Maybe we put way too much honey, and honey is gross. Literally, when I smell it, I gag, and it's, ugh. Your throat's hurting that bad, I would just swallow that down. That's a natural remedy right there. <laughs> yeah, I know for a kid, it would be hard to take, but yeah, usually they do like honey, lemon, or lime, or any type of tea like that, just to help soothe the throat. But anyways, you took it the first day, and now you're here, so how many days has it been? Monday, first day, yeah, four. Yeah. About four days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. And what day is it today? Oh, five days. Like yesterday in the morning, I feel... She's been eating the holes like crazy. Because it tastes like candy. And I told her, stop. <laughs> no more oils. No more of that. No. I had um, three yesterday and one today. Because if you look at the ingredients, it still contains sugar to make it sweet. Yeah, those aren't natural, but they do help. So, I mean, if they're helping you, continue, but I wouldn't not be... Every, not, not one after the next, though. Yeah, not one after the next. I would just, like, slow it down a little bit. Yeah. All right, so you're done school now? Or you want to go out with me for a little bit? Yeah, please. Okay. Here, mommy in the background. Yes, please. Mommy wants some some air. Okay, guys, we're just gonna head to a store. Come with us. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're now in the car, and we're gonna be going to the store. And Mimi told me to um, put on this scarf, and I did not want to because it's always choking me, and it's uncomfortable, and it's so cold. And I brought my gloves because inside it's so warm. These are the ones I got in my stocking for Christmas. So, yeah. Hey guys, so we are at Michael's, one of my favorite stores. <laughs> I'm looking for a box, guys. I want to do a special activity which will be featured in another vlog with the kids. So we're going into the store because I'm looking for a white box. So let's just go see if they sell what I'm looking for. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I don't come to Michael's a lot. I've only been here one other time and I vlogged it for you guys when we were looking for Jasmine's project stuff. So I'm not really familiar where things are. So Amaya and I are just kind of looking around the store and looking before we bother an associate to find what we're looking for. I'm sure it should be easy to find, but it is kind of a big store. So let's see if we find our box. There's so much things here. The minute I come into the store, Amaya's like, Mommy, this is what I need. I need this, I need this. I'm like, Amaya, you need a part-time job. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's for her art stuff. She's very artsy. She's really good at art. So she likes to collect a lot of art stuff. What's that? This, these are where I bring my paintbrushes and my canvases. Oh, she's just showing you guys? Like, right here, this is where she buys a lot of her art supplies. And the paint over there is expensive paint, and that's where I get my acrylic paint. So over there, guys, just down here, she's saying she gets her acrylic paint and it's expensive. Okay, Maya, let's go see if we can find our special box. All right, guys, let's keep looking. All right, guys, I found a white box. Look at this. So $2.99. It's a photo box. And it's the one you're looking for because it's the only one that's waiting for you. Yeah, so mine's like, this is like the last box here in the store. Well, I don't know in the store, but on this station that they have it on. And there's no other one, so we might have to walk with it because I don't want anyone to take it. But let's see if there's any other options, mine. Oh look, they sell these things. Jasmine loves those things. So cute, and now they sell it at Michael's. Oh, nice! Jasmine has a smaller um, unicorn. Yeah. They 
collect these things and then I just find them all over the house. Okay, so we're looking for maybe something a little smaller. Let's see if we can find it. All right, guys, we found more boxes in the bag, so we didn't have to take the only one at the storefront. But it's all good. We're just seeing if there's a smaller box, just like a bit smaller, or if this is going to be the box we use. Mm, I don't know. I'm not seeing many more boxes. Yes, I my work and art on here. It's this. Oh, that's what you want? Yeah. And look, the table, and it's just yeah. going to be perfect. <laughs> Amaya wants a lot of like art supplies and stationary things, which would be beneficial because she has a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm not seeing any more boxes, are you? No. No? Okay. Um, we might have to ask someone because I saw one online that was smaller than this, but let's just take a look around here. A few moments later. All right, guys, so it looks like we're just going to settle with this box because we asked an associate and they said that they don't have the smaller one. You have to buy it online. So I said, you know what? We're gonna just buy this and head out. All right, let's go. The 338. Okay, right, guys, we're leaving Michael's. Oh my gosh. This is like the first time in a while that I'm like happy to wear my mask, keeping us warm until we get in the car. Oh. Freezing. You want to move to Texas with me? Just you and me, okay? No? Not just me and you. Who we got to bring? Vinny and Tasia. Oh man, we got to bring the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> She's not going down like that. And Jasmine, and Amy, and Greg, and Mimi. Everybody's got to come. Okay. All right, guys. We're just actually going to head home. It's too cold. Okay, guys, we'll see you there. All right, guys, so I'm going to be dropping Amaya back to my mom's now because she has school tomorrow. So she's going to say bye to the fam. Bye. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, she's getting better. We're going to keep an eye on it. You guys will see her in the next vlog because we want to show you guys what we're doing with this box that we just bought. <laughs> Are you excited to show them? Yeah. All right, but it's a secret until then, right? Yeah. That's right. All right, guys, I'm home now, and I'm going to go give Greg an update about how Amaya's doing. So let's go see him. I believe he's in the kitchen. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Wonderful. That's good. <laughs> so how'd it go with Amaya? Doing, doing good. Okay, so Amaya's doing pretty good. She says that her throat's getting better. However, what's new to me that was just a tiny bit concerning is she said when she swallows that she can feel pain going into her ear. But she said it's not that bad that she's surviving. No medical emergency where I have to, you know, increase wait times in the hospital to take her to emerge or a walking clinic because it's unbearable. So. Could you hear anything in her voice that would sound that it's yeah. a little rasp? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, because that's. Red Star technology. So it's been five days. She's been complaining since last Friday. So I told her magic number seven, we're gonna wait it out. If obviously for a second, third day, it's getting unbearable. She, mom, I can't swallow. She, I would have taken her to a walking clinic, but I found that most of her pain increased at night. So it's where that's she- That's normal though. You know, for kids, like she didn't want, oh, for you too? Yeah, I, I, oh. I'm sure people will say the same thing. That okay. if you have a, like a cold, sinus inflammation, anything like that, that it seems to, at nighttime as you're settling down, you're going to lay down, it seems to amplify. Right. Like that right before bedtime. So that's when I would take something okay. to help Fair enough. Um, treat the symptom, you know? So did you get anything for her? My mom got her halls and something else, but she's eating the halls like it's candy. I used to do that as a kid, <laughs> but no, my mom's keeping an eye on it. Uh, she's doing totally fine. She's up, she's talking, she's playing. She actually went out to the store with me. We grabbed some stuff. She was totally fine. Yeah. I just told her by Friday, if it's not subsiding, I'll take her to the walk-in clinic. I, I don't want to, especially during this time. It's long wait times, guys. A lot of sick people there. I don't want to be waiting with Amaya there. But it looks like she's doing okay. My mom gave her honey and lemon to drink the first night she was there. She said she drank it, but after that she wouldn't drink it. 
find like a tea or something. Yeah, a mint tea I think will do well. Yeah. Yeah. She likes something that she can kind of agree with. That's... Yeah, because I mean, again, she's only ten, and which ten year old is really gonna want to drink? lemon and honey it is a good effective natural remedy but i remember when i was younger anytime i got a sniffle or cold they'd bring up some natural remedy and they're like oh drink this i'm like oh my gosh i can't no no so they're like you're not that sick then i'm like no it's because i'm <laughs> 10 and won't drink that it's so gross so i get where she's coming from i personally found that the lozenges that taste gross are the ones that are the most effective like real fisherman's friend Buckley's. Um, she needs to drink some Buckley's. She says she's Buckley's having a lot of phlegm. And you can hear it, definitely. You can hear it. Maybe it's better that she's doing the virtual now, anyway. Yeah. Um, one of the stipulations going back to school is they have to be completely symptom free. Right. If you have a runny nose, you're home for five days. So. Monday, the kids are supposed to be going back to school. Yay! I'm so happy for them. I don't even think they know. We gotta tell them. Maybe vlog it for you guys. Well, in January, you have to be completely symptom free. Any symptom. So, regardless of what it is, if you have anything that's noticeable, mm -hmm. they have to stay home. Oh, yeah. It is what it is. It's the time we're in. So, they're just taking extra precautions. Yeah, at least they get to go to school. I'm so happy, especially for Danny, guys. Oh my god! Okay, I'm Danny so happy. for us, but Amaya for her, yeah. for her own well-being. Like you've seen that in the brownie video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because we're watching the playback. And we're like, Amaya just seems so sad, but I mean, it's the night before school. She doesn't want to do virtual school. She'd rather be in person, and you can just see how it affects her mm -hmm. well-being. She's not a, a sad or mopey kid. She's very shy. She can be shy in certain situations. In. In one of the previous videos, I had mentioned that, oh, Amaya is not a shy person in the yard. And I, I think some people meant like around the house, like our yard. I, I was referring to the schoolyard as we had talked to teachers. The teachers will tell us she is not a shy girl at all. Because when she's with us at the school, she would act a certain way. Then when we're not there, she would open up. So. I think that's how like most kids do it. If a parent's there, they're gonna act one way. They're, okay, and then so all I'm saying is, yes, that when we're not present, the teachers would say, she's very outgoing, she's very vocal, she's not afraid to speak her mind. So in that case, I would say she's not a shy person. But when you take her into a different element, which is at home on the computer, in this virtual learning setting, which she's not comfortable with, she's not around her friends, she's just staring at a script, this increased screen time. Like we're trying to keep screen time to a minimum and now they're yeah. pushing kids in front of the screen for hours at a day. And then they want to go play on their games um, on their devices to interact with all their friends for real. Like anyway, so yeah, they sit in front of screens all day. Back to Amaya. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is she's not a shy person. Like you keep saying she's so shy, she's so shy. I don't think she's shy like that. If she's with her friends, but if it's someone new she meets or she's around someone she's not comfortable, she hasn't met, you know, more than once she'll be extremely If shy. she's alone with that person. All I'm saying is you, you keep saying, am I a very shy person? Am I a very shy person? Am I a... And I'm saying if you took any one of our kids and put them in the same situation, they're all going to appear shy initially. Initially. She's not, she's not that shy. But I in... think oh, out of all gosh. three of them, she's the most quiet. Okay. On the other end, she's also the one who, when she's comfortable, will become the loudest. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I've like- she, Okay, yeah. she gets the most comfortable. You yeah. wanna say that? Yeah, She sure. might be the, the shyest in a new situation, Yeah. but she's also gets, she likes to- okay. That is true. Here's where we are. <laughs> We're going back and forth with a minor right, shyness. Goodness. Because I <laughs> know how she interacts with her friends. I know how she is at school Okay. and when she has that support, so yes, she is when she's comfortable, just like you're saying. Yeah. So now I'm excited for her to get back to in-person school. She needs that because so bad. she does much better and she is much more comfortable. And yeah, it's I can imagine in virtual learning to be the one to put your hand up, and that could be uncomfortable. Like you don't want other people to know that you don't right. get it. And she has and, she's in a split class with four or five as well as another class that's on, which is a split class five, six. So she has some people that aren't already in her class now all come Right, on so now virtual. she's like people who, exactly. And she I can totally like appreciate how that could be an uncomfortable situation. And as much as I wanna 
encourage her to to ask for help when she needs it. It's the mm -hmm. only way you're gonna learn. That's right. That's right. But she's doing the best she can. We're here to support her. And, and I don't want mom's her... doing a great job. Oh my gosh, my mom <laughs> my mom makes a comment after everything. I was over there today. She's like, she don't raise her hand. I told you to raise her hand. No, no, she she eats off the halls. Like it's can't like my mom is just so vocal. It's so funny. Poor Maya. I already told you guys how it was for me being brought up. My dad's not there. My dad's in Trinidad, so she doesn't have my dad, but my mom will not hesitate to tell you what's on her mind. That's all I'm saying. So Maya's getting a lot of that right now. That's so funny. Your dad? My dad's rough. If you guys haven't seen differences, go check it out. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways. She's doing well. We're gonna keep an eye on her throat. It is the season for cold, minus COVID and what's going on. Cold still exists and other viruses still exist. We work in healthcare. We've seen so many things. I know Amaya will be fine. I'm confident she'll be okay. This is just that we've all, actually you've been the one that hasn't had anything. No, cause the way my mind set up. Cause the way my mind set up. I had to deal with stuff. Jasmine has, Danny has, Amaya's dad has, now it looks like it's a mind's turn. Now hopefully you stay bug free. No, I don't get sick. I'm healthy forever, ever. Anyways, but guys. Crazy, yeah. So how did it go? That's where we're going with all of this. It went well. She's good and I'm confident that she'll be totally fine. Okay. And then she went to the store and she saw some art supplies and she wants everything in the store because that's Amaya that has to do with art. She's such a sweet girl. I love her so much. I just want her to, like my mom said, be more vocal. Cause I find that sometimes me and my mom can be too vocal. Like we're the ones to bark, but Amaya will not be the one to do that in most situations. Anyways, Amaya's doing fine. I believe she'll be fine. I just want to update the family and just let them know what's up. So that's what's up guys. Okay. And she still communicates with her dad, but they're doing it on FaceTime. So she'll call and she's oh, like, can you help okay, me with okay. my French work? And then they're on FaceTime. So she uses my mom's iPad and she has a laptop over there. So she's well equipped. She's good. So dad, that's awesome. Yeah, dad's getting better. Dad's out of what? I think he's coming out of isolation sometime this week, but I was talking to him. He's totally fine himself. He's just taking precautions. Like, man, I, I don't want to get anybody sick. So I'm going to just keep my distance. Okay, that's cool. So he's good. Nice. All right, guys. <laughs> that's what's up. All right, guys. But before we leave out today, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell up there because we don't want you to miss a thing all right guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video bye